But the amazing thing is, in 2021, it works. That's why they do it. The Chinese know our leaders very well. In fact, they have a name for our self-hating professional class. They call them Baisa. The rough translation for the Mandarin is white liberal, and it is definitely not a compliment. Here's how Chinese state media describe Baisa. Quote, there are people who only care about topics such as immigration, minorities, LGBT, and the environment, who have no sense of real problems in the real world, who only advocate for peace and equality to satisfy their own feelings of moral superiority, and who are so obsessed with political correctness that they tolerate backward Islamic values for the sake of multiculturalism. As Chinese state media notes, quote, former U.S. President Obama was considered an advocate of Baisaw ideology. So was German Chancellor Angela Merkel in her decision to welcome more than one million third world immigrants to Europe, end quote. Other observations about Baisaw, as reported by Chinese state media, include the fact that they, quote, advocate inclusiveness and anti-discrimination, but cannot tolerate different opinions. Baisaw's political opinions are, quote, so shallow that they tend to maintain social equality by embracing ideologies that run against the basic concept of equality. Amazing. According to one scholar from P Peking University, Baisa are phony and hypocritical and will make the situation in the West go from bad to worse, and so on. Talk about insightful. They know our leaders well. According to Wikipedia, many Chinese internet users used the term Baisa, and we're quoting, to criticize the Democratic Party's emphasis on affirmative action policies, which are perceived as discriminating against Asians, end quote. So whatever you think of the Chinese, they're definitely not stupid, and they're onto something here. Affirmative action hurts Asians. That is true, and everyone knows it. A study of Harvard's admissions policies, for example, found that if the school admitted students solely on merit, as we thought they did, the percentage of Asian students in a given class would double to 43%. Now, Harvard doesn't want that, doesn't want that many Asians. So it denies admissions to Asians because they're Asian. That is the definition of discrimination. That's what racism is. But it's everywhere. It's going on in all elite schools right now, as well as in almost every major corporation. The current administration wholeheartedly supports it. The Biden DOJ dropped a lawsuit against Yale University for racist anti-Asian admissions practices which were proved, by the way, it wasn't an allegation. They got a hold of Yale's admission standards, which showed unequivocally Asians were denied entry because they were Asian. But the